welcome to the channel. In America and Europe, a lot of people have got their own mill and they mill their own wheat and they bake their own bread. Well, here in Australia, it's pretty rare, I think. So I decided to make a mill and see what this bread tastes like. So this is just a wooden box. Um, this is the filler here, this is where you put your wheat. This is how you adjust it. You can have it rough or fine, whatever you want. And here's the millstone. This is just a brass plate. It's got two pins on it, so it locks onto the stone. And this is a 20 mil shaft. There's a keyway in it because there's a lot of torque involved with a hand mill. And here's the other stone. Now inside there's a bearing, it's just a brass bearing, and this is also where the grain comes through from the feeder. Now inside the hopper you need some way of pushing the grain out towards the stones so all I've done is wrapped a, a small copper pipe around the shaft and fixed it to one side. So as you're turning it pushes all the grain out. Now the mill stones are actually quite easy to make. First of all you've got to go to a tile shop that sells stone and get a tile which is made out of granite about 20 mil thick and this roughly cut it to shape and then you've got to make this gadget here it's just a steel plate uh, mounted to a solid piece of timber 16 mil rod a couple of lock nuts and then the angle grinder is bolted onto here and it's got a diamond blade in it yes. After you cut out your stone, you have to drill a hole in the middle using a diamond hole saw. Use a lot of water with it. And then what you do is you mount it on here on the timber using a wooden dowel so that it rotates around the dowel. And when you've finished, you have to cut some notches in here. You need a little bit of room for the grain to sit. Now when you make these cuts, you have to shim this plate here so the cut is zero on the outside. It can't really go past the edge. It has to stop before the edge. And inside it has to be about three or four mils deep. And it doesn't have to be that accurate. You just do it every, every 10 mils. Like that. Now this is what the cuts have to look like. The red ones here, that's the fixed stone. The black ones are the ones that move. And this is how they have to rotate. And that way it pushes the grain out and the, and the flour, it pushes out from the middle out. Now I've actually done it wrong. This is for a left hand stone or a left handed person. And I'm right-handed, so it's wrong for what I've done. But if you want to do a right hand, you just turn it around the other way so the cuts are like this. Now they're mounted on a table. Uh, you have this clamp here, it's just made out of a 20mm bar. All that's left to do now is fill the hopper and you can start grinding wheat.
this is what it looks like when you get near the end. Now you need about 300 mils uh, to bake a small loaf. Now I've ground this pretty rough. Uh, normally you grind it a little bit finer. The finer the better. You just adjust it with that wing nut. Now it's time to do some baking. This is what the bread looks like. It's quite soft, but it doesn't last very long because there's no preservatives in there. A couple of days and then you have to toast it. But since then I've also made an electric mill this is too hard work milling all this by hand and I'll do that another time so thanks for watching